On this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the sax intro, played by Snake Davis, on Jubel by Klingande. Now, on that card linked up there is my other Jubel video. This video teaches you how to play the intro, the video up there teaches you how to play the main hook, and then together it teaches you how to play the whole thing. So, here we go. Without further ado, let's steam straight in. I'm going to teach you how to play the intro sax from Jubel. So as usual, I've chunked this into little segments, many of which link up together. So don't forget to go down into the description, click the link to get your free PDF the sheet music, and that will show you exactly where the phrases are and which ones join into each other. So here is the first phrase broken down nice and slowly for you. The first phrase flows straight into the second phrase, and here it is, phrase two, played really slow. If you listen to the original, you will hear on phrase two that there is a growl. Now then, if you wanna learn how to growl on the saxophone, go up to that card, and I've got a whole video teaching you uh, the best ways to growl on sax. And on this particular solo, Snake Davis uses two of the ways I describe in that video. Go and check out the video and you'll learn how to do it yourself. Okay, moving swiftly on, let's play phrase three. Here we go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, this was played on tenor on the original, but this phrase makes me wonder. It doesn't really quite sit very well on tenor, but anyway, it's very high for tenor. It's even quite high for alto, so feel free to take this whole phrase down the octave. I've marked it in the PDF in the description as octave, so you can see what the notes are down the octave, but if you're a banging saxophonist, you can take it up to the original, <laughs> the original pitch. So here it is. Here is the, what phrase is it? Fourth phrase played nice and slow for you. Phrase five uses a tongue roll growl. Remember earlier I told you to go and check out my video on how to growl on sax, you can learn how to do it there. So here is phrase five, broken down. Phrase five flows straight into phrase six, but I've broken it up into two parts to make it easier. So here is the final phrase, phrase six, played slowly. Sounds to me what happens is that the tongue roll in phrase five kind of, it just blends into a throat kind of growl for phrase six. So try and get that transition between those two types of growl. So that's it. Now don't forget, after the two four bar with the save me vocal in there, it cuts straight into the Jubel hook, which is on my other video, my other Jubel video, part one. I know, they're the wrong way around. This is part two and it comes first, and then it's part one, which comes second, but Never mind. So when you put it all together, it should sound a little bit like this. Here we go.
So that's it for another week of Get Your Sacks Together Coolness. Now remember to go and check out the partner video for this one, which teaches you how to play the Jubel main hook. I carded it earlier, and I'll put a link in the description for that video as well. That is called part one. This video is called part two, but really, this should be the other way around, because part two comes first. Hey, who's counting? <laughs> All right, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified of new videos when they come out, check out my Instagram feed, and go down into the description to get your free PDF. Free PDF, free PDF of Jubel. That is pretty cool and deadly accurate, as usual. So go and check that out, and I'll see you next week. Keep practicing, see you later.